Hello there, and welcome to a dev story. Lately, I've been covering some core concepts in computer science fundamentals, including other structures or time complexity. And today we'll be covering sorting algorithms. Sorting algorithms is one of the most important topics in computer science, and they are also often asked during the technical interviews. So there are several, uh, several sorting algorithms. Probably your programming language already implements some optimized version of it, or you have a library that already does it. But it's still a good exercise to, to learn as many as you can, and that will give you more prepared to dealing with the algorithms in, in general, but also specifically into the technical interview. From all the sorting algorithms that there exist, there are usually two that are most commonly used, let's say, or more commonly discussed uh, algorithm, and these are the merge sort and quick sort. And I will try to give you a quick overview of these two algorithms uh, in, in different videos. So in this video, I will be covering merge sort. The way the merge sort work is that you have a list of elements that you want to sort, and what you will do is you will be dividing the list into sublist uh, of half the size until you get to only one element. And then you start merging the elements, and what you will be doing is comparing if the element is larger or smaller, smaller, and put one on the left and the other one on the right. And then you get a bigger sublist until you get and, and that you keep comparing between them until you get a full list. For example, in this case, if we have this list, what we will do, we, we will split it and get uh, on, this side, on the left side, four, two, five, three, and on the right hand side, we get one, six, eight, seven. Then we keep splitting the numbers here and we get four, two on one side, five, three on the right side, one, six, eight, seven here. And we keep doing that until we get to only one element. And then we start the merge, so the merge here, start merging the element. So in this case, what we will do is to take the lowest element to the left and the uh, largest element to the right. So if we hit four and two, what we will do is to put the two on the left and we'll, we are merging them is two, four. In this case, it would be three, five. In this case, it's already sorted, so we don't no need to do anything else. In this case, also put seven, eight. And then we keep doing the same thing. What we will do is to compare two against these numbers. We know that it's already sorted on this on this side. So what we will do is only to compare it with the uh, partition on the right. So we compare two against three and five, and we know that uh, two will win. So it will be two of the first element. Then we are comparing four against three, and three wins. We compare four against five, and four wins here. And then we will put the last number five. And we would do the same thing here. And we do the same in the last step. So we compare two against one, one wins, two against six, two wins. We don't need to compare, see that we, we save the, uh, comparing the elements here because we already know that they are sorted uh, the same way they are sorted on the side. The only thing is that they are not so sorted between them. So now we use three, three we compare against six, seven and eight, and we know that, well, we compare, I guess, the first one, right? We know that if it's lower, then we put three. Same with four, compare against six, we'll win four, five, and then we put six, seven, and eight. That way we get into a sorted uh, list. The, the size of these three until here will be a uh, log n, right? So uh, what we'll have is log n number of problems, but then we need to do the merge afterwards, right? So it will be, and, and the merge is depending on the number of the elements. So we will get at the end, the complexity of this would be uh, n log n. So in the case of the space complexity, basically the space complexity means what is the extra storage that I will need to uh, use in order to sort the, uh, the list. So in the case of merge sort, typical implementations will require another array where we'll store or array or list where we'll be storing the sorted uh, result. So it always depends on the number of elements, so it will be o, a big O of n. Merge sort uh, is a stable sort. That means that if, if you have repeated elements, they will be kept on the same order that they first appear on the, on the initial list in the, in the final list, which is it might be useful in certain cases. So something interesting about merge sort is that it doesn't matter if 
what was the initial state of the list, we will always be dividing the list into subproblems until we sort the list completely. So the time complexity for merge sort is will be always be n log n, and that includes uh, the best, uh, the average, and the worst case scenario. So now you know how merge sort works, and you know some of the details about it, like uh, what is the time complexity, space complexity, and if it's a stable sort. And these details allow you to compare it against other sorting algorithms and pick the best, uh, the best one for you in your case. I have to cover this topic very briefly, uh, but if you are more interested in, in learning more details about the implementation, or if you are want to compare it against other sorting algorithms, just uh, I put together some links below. So please check them out if, if you're interested. And, um, and of course, if this video has been useful for you, uh, like it, uh, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.